Hello, my name is Clayton Stufflebeam um, with Bex Hybrids. Today we are at Precision Planting's Winter Conference with Jeremy Hodel, who is the Product Manager for Conceal. Um, we tested Conceal in our plot research this past season for the first time. We've seen some very promising results. Um, go ahead and give me, give me some information about the Conceal product. Yeah, so Conceal is our new nitrogen application product and we're applying a band of nitrogen. Could be single side or both sides if you want, so a knife on one side or two sides of the furrow. Um, we apply it about three inches to the side, offset to the side about three inches and about an inch beneath the ground is, is usually where we're running those knives. So the, the, our, plot, our plots have been named or we've, we've named our studies two by two by two studies. In the past, we used to be two inches over and either two inches below the surface or two inches below the seed. That has been kind of muddy as a definition in the past. Do we think that, that our, our distance away from the row unit and from the seed is changing? And why is that changing? Sure, so uh, we designed the system to be optimal for nitrogen placement. So we're really focused on what's, what's the right way to apply nitrogen. So we've chosen three inch offset to the side and that's for the reason of um, ensuring that you can apply up to, in the case of a single knife situation, you can apply up to 30 gallons per acre uh, very comfortably without any risk to seed burn. So it's a safe distance away. And then inch depth is strategic as far as from a nitrogen standpoint. We want to make sure we get it in, in the ground, number one. But it's also a, a deep enough to make sure that the nitrogen is, is in the ground, but it's not so deep that we're requiring a lot of extra downforce right. or moving a lot of soil. It's just, just the perfect spot. Once the nitrogen's in moisture, it's going to diffuse into the root zone where it needs to be. So we're, we're able to get to that nitrogen much sooner than a typical 2x2x2 two by two by two application. Um, tell me a little bit here. So we've got a split gauge wheel and then we're not using a coulter. So what are our advantages to going that route versus the competition? Sure. Um, so knives come with uh, quite a few advantages. We really liked knives and that's why we came up with this system. So um, number one, they're simple. Not a lot of moving parts. Um, number two is they have a really good delivery option as far as um, not letting go of the fertilizer yep. until it's already in the ground. So we're not trying to squirt or, or dribble or inject. Um, we're putting it all the way in the ground with the knife. And then thirdly, the uh, packaging of a knife has some real advantages as far as really being able to kind of keep it uh, confined um, in a, a very tight package. So our weight's going to be considerably less than probably some of the competition. Um, now how I'm thinking about plugging with a culture, we're able to slice that residue before that knife goes into the ground. How are we achieving being able not to, not to have a plugging issue? Yeah, residue? it's a great question. Um, so that was one of the big challenges when we, when we first started this project. We started with just a, a simple knife out in front of the, op uh, in front of the gauge wheel, but uh, we did realize that there were some issues with residue handling. So um, that's kind of where the, the secret, if you will, or the, the magic of integrating it in with the, the gauge wheel system. So by basically tucking the knife into and underneath the gauge wheel, which is where we're injecting, that wheel is going to keep all that residue and soil flowing past the knife. So whereas if you were just dragging a knife without that, it's going to want right. to plug up. That's going to keep everything moving. So basically what we can do, I think, is what he's trying to say is we can use this gauge wheel here to kind of, if we've got a long piece of residue, we can also hold that residue down and slice it with the knife. Is that correct? Yeah, in some cases it'll slice through. In other cases it'll kind of force it to go underneath okay. the knife. Okay. Um, is, can we change our depth from an inch below the seed? Is, it, is this adjustable or are we, are we set? <clears throat> Correct. Uh, it is adjustable. Um, in most cases, we're recommending that guys target about an inch, but it's got a range of about equal to the, the depth of the seed all the way up to right at the surface of the ground. Um, so, so there is quite a bit of adjustability built into it. Okay. What about longevity? What are we, what are we thinking acres-wise um, for these units? Yeah, another good question. So um, first of all, we've, we've really uh, spent a lot of focus on trying to make that knife robust. It's got a leading edge that's built out of tungsten carbide, so it's pretty tough stuff. And uh, one example from a grower who tested Conceal in 2018, uh, he's got a very highly abrasive, sandy field environment, so bad that he's got to replace opener discs after about 1,000 acres. I think he's got about a 2,000 acre farm and uh, he had to stop halfway through the season, swap out his opener discs because they were wearing through. 
he was able to make it the entire season without changing his concealed knives and uh, he probably had a little more life left in, in him at the end. So I guess just to kind of put it in perspective, he was getting at least twice as much life out of his knives as he was the opener disc. So quite a, quite a long time then. Mm -hmm. um, pretty easy to change. I'm seeing a nut right here. Is that all it takes? Is you probably got to pop your gauge wheels off and, and unscrew that nut right there and change your knife? Um, so to, to replace the knife tip, you wouldn't even have to remove the gauge wheel. There is, like you pointed out, just a, a fastener right at the bottom. Um, so yeah, you'd pop that off. There's a quick disconnect of the liquid line right at the knife tip. You can uh, release that and uh, replace the new, new knife and be back in business. Okay, now are these available for purchased for uh, just the the normal farmer? Can we can we purchase these for 2019 season? Um, you could have. Uh, unfortunately, we're sold out for the 2019 sold out. season. Okay. But uh, but they are commercially available now, and uh, hope to continue that on as, so as we move forward. Good thing to be sold out now. Yeah. And I say 2020. I'm really interested. You've got more research out. Uh, maybe Bex has some more research here in this next season. Um, what's the best way for me to get my hands on them? For, through a precision dealer yeah. probably? So uh, one of our premier dealers would be happy to, to work with you to get, get your uh, planter set up. Um, what's it going to cost a typical grower to, to purchase a unit per row? Yeah, so the per row cost of the system, basically as you're looking at it here, we've got the two options, as I mentioned, a single band or a dual band system. So a single band is going to be just under $500, and then a dual band is uh, around eight eight thirty eight, dollars I believe. Okay. Now, well, I've been working with Precision Products for quite some time here. Um, we have a lot, you guys have a lot of good products, and we keep updating our corn planters with the technology. Is this going to fit in to your portfolio for quite a time? Yeah, so as far as compatibility goes, um, you know, we've really designed it to work with all of our other systems. Uh, of course, we're mounting to the front, and so if you're running row cleaners, um, we've, we've made accommodations to make sure we're compatible with all of those row cleaners as well. I'm still able to use a no-till coulter if I'd like? No-till coulters would be uh, a little bit more. We'd, we'd have to make sure we, we know what, what specifically okay. we're talking about. It might require some forward shifting of the coulter um, to, to make sure we have clearance for our, our equipment in that area. Okay. Now let's get to the um, important part for, for Bex hybrids here with our research data. This is a three-site study from Indiana, Kentucky, and Southern Illinois. We ran two hybrids, our control being no starter fertilizer, and our treatment here being 60 units of UAN through Precision Planting's Conceal System. By doing that, the two hybrid average, we gained 6.3 bushel and $24.70. So we have seen a nice advantage by using Conceal in our previous research by testing two by two by two versus two by two, we've also seen some really promising numbers. I think the future of starter fertilizer is going to increase. Um, I, th I think uh, at my home farm, we don't use starter. I think it's probably gonna happen in the future with, with us being more efficient with getting that solution into the ground and on both sides of the corn plant. Um, at this time, um, I'd like to thank Jeremy for helping me do the video here. You're welcome. My name is Clayton Stuffelbeam again from Bex Hybrids, and we look forward to uh, working with you guys more in the future.